Here's a look at what's going on over the next couple of days. Not much really is going to warm back up a little bit. Uh, we're going to go between now and Sunday afternoon at one o'clock. Tomorrow morning dropping into the 30s, likely 20s inland. It'll drop into the 20s inland, uh, but 34 degrees near the shoreline. Much lighter winds overnight into tomorrow morning and light winds during the day. High temperatures today was only around 46, uh, 47 degrees. Tomorrow around 8, 10 degrees warmer, likely be well on up into the 50s, 55, 58. Starting the day on Saturday, not bad. A little bit more of a breeze, but still not that awfully bad. Those were things out by 1 in the afternoon, but you'll load a few clouds. Clouds are starting to drift in. What up with that? Well, that's in advance of the rain. We could see a few scattered showers overnight into Sunday morning, but not that awfully much. Now, the storm is still far away and is not likely to hit until really at least noon on uh, begin, at least at, at around the noon hour coming up on Sunday. But it'll get a lot worse coming up on Sunday night, uh, uh, Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. That's when we're likely to see the strongest winds and the heaviest rainfall, likely an inch and a half to two inches of rainfall out of these longer range forecast models. We've still got a little bit of time. Uh, really, when you get within around 48 hours, then you can uh, really nail it down. But we're beyond that right now. It's more like 72 hours or so. Uh, so we'll want to watch what goes on with this. This is three, three and a half, four days out. Uh, so again, it looks like it'll be a bad enough storm with a lot, a lot of wind and a lot of rain through the area from Sunday afternoon on into Monday, uh, Monday morning especially.